Hello, I'm Hunter Hipsch, expert geologist. Today, I will be taking you into the unknown, the Deerfield River. I can't tell you that I'm going to come back in one piece, but I'll come back, as always. I can't tell you that my mate Dave, the camera guy, is going to come back too, but as always, we must go on. Today, my producers have given me a ridiculously hard task to uncover the scarps, oxbows, point bars, cut banks, and other geological features of the Deerfield River. And as always, it will be a thrill. A brush with death, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, just in a day's work. My uncanny ability to detect any geological features in the nearby area will hold true. Strap your seatbelts on. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Oh yes, here we are. Basalt. A lava. Basalt. A lava. The dark coloured basaltic rock is composed of extrusive lava. And what we have here is, is a bunch of um, specimens of, of this, this lava, this basalt. Um, we have here one with uh, there seems to be vesicles in it, um, made by it must have been that top of the lava flow. And um, what we have here is these pockets of air, these air bubbles um, that formed at the top of the lava flow. And it seems that some of them are formed by uh, minerals, animals. Um But we've got a, a an array of them here that uh, on our walk down to the river. So. Cheerio, we carry on. With spirits bright, we head onward, pressing further into the jaws of the Deerfield River. My camera mate Dave on my left. I spy a specimen I just cannot resist. I pick it up. Moments before I spy a scarp. The first feature. Ah uh, yes, my normal thinking process. Usually I'll run in for circles for hours on end. Oh god, that was a nice schist. Yes, my thinking process has worked once more. As I have conjured up another idea. Geology. Here we go. We are looking for a very rare animal, the Arcos conglomerate. Now, if we see one of these, I have to admit, 
say to you? We must remain completely calm. No sudden movements. This is a very dangerous species. Now, get down. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. Get down. Get down. Okay. Okay. Now, you must stay back. This is this animal is deadly. It's got a venom to kill 16 men with just one bite. Now, if I give you the secret word, well, sandwich, you must retreat as fast as you can while I try and ward off the animal. We are going to creep up to it. Come here. Stay with me. Stay with me. My handler, my handler Dave, is going to take control of the animal after I capture it. While I explain it, we'll only have it for a few moments, as this animal has never been filmed before in the wild. Okay, here we go. You must stay in the tall grass so it doesn't see us. At this moment, my heart was beating faster than it ever was before. To be this close to this this being, this animal, that's so rarely seen on the face of this planet, is just breathtaking. To have my handler Dave there was something a bit of a comfort, as Dave and I have been through a lot together. What you are about to witness is truly one of my greatest achievements I consider. Enjoy. As we approach this being, I'm going to have to be very careful. My brother, Gemini, lost an entire arm to one of these before. Here we go. Very quiet. I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! Here we are! Okay, okay, we only have a few moments, but this is the Arcaos conglomerate. Keep it still, keep it still. You can see that it is in this region. It's hard in sandstone with a touch of, of, oh, oh, hold on. It's got, it's very still. We have, right here we have a conglomerate. You can see the reddish tint to it here. And we must be very careful before it escapes. You can see the pieces of conglomerate there. But this is truly a beautiful species. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one this large in the wild. Oh, check this over. Okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna release it now into the wild. Okay! Are we good? Are we clear? Okay. Thankfully, unscathed, after a brief brush with death, I move onward. My handler, Dave, is thankfully okay too. Wow! This is the River Terrace Plain, the flood plain. As you can see here, there's flooding. And as you come over here, there's even more flooding. Over here. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh there's our man. cameraman. Oh, yep, sorry. Yep. Um, Sorry, but the flooding here is very obvious. It's the floodplain. Um, there's a, a bit of an odd activity going on over there. Yep, it's still going on. Here we go. Yep, okay, stay on task. Um, but flooding is, uh, here at the Deerfield River, a very, very um, common thing. Uh, that's because of the floodplain, and here we have um, some nice sediment that the water can come over, and early in the spring, you know, the water can get as deep as, uh, you know, the tallest floodplain. I've even seen it go over the Great Jim Smith Field. But uh, I think we have a nice view of the flooding over here. What were you doing, Willie? I just had to take a take off. Okay. You know, go drain the main vein, whatever you need to do. Um, but yes, and there's a scarf right here, as you can see. But this is truly, um, this is truly one of the most amazing places to study geology in the whole world. Um, my professor Richard Little said it, and I'm telling you here today. My keen eye for geology led me towards the river. The river holds true to its name. There's water in it. It is also an excellent place to study my favourite subject, geology. Here we are on the banks of the Deerfield River. Now, as you can notice, this is the wider part of the river. And um, as it normally is, there's an equation that goes with this. And it's actually here. I'll write it for you. Q equals B W D. Now, Q is the discharge. 
Um, and then V, velocity, W width, and D depth. Right here we have a wide width, so the velocity is very slow, and the depth is not that, it's not that deep yet. But there over there in the rapid, we have a deeper, um, we have a deeper river. Its width is narrow, More narrow and it's going faster. So Q equals VWD, my friends. Well, that's me show for today. And like I always say, John Rose!